lie in the background. 22 points to three. Four tries. Kerwin's got two. Timu one. Forster one. Here it comes again. Kerwin. Forster. Mannix. Lomu. Lomu's moment. Things went well and then uh, became the youngest ever All Black as well. I was 19 years of age and two months. Little out to Lomu. He can get, get the big legs going. He's only got one to beat. They've got it again. I don't believe this. He's got it up the front bound. And a yes. has been scored. That is stunning. Basically, I just wanted to get the ball in hand and, and uh, have a go. And um, go as far as I can. And then... Uh, Every time I turned around, Josh always seemed to be there. He was a great support player. For a while there, when we were at the World Cup, we were called the Double J's. Josh and Jonah were running, running side by side down the sideline. There's the England team, they're out first. Sean Fitzpatrick will bring New Zealand on second. Set for the Haka now, and it's going to be led by Zinzan Brook, and there's big John Alumma. Mike Brewer likes to get out on the edge of the Haka. <laughs> Bash up again, New Zealand maintaining possession. Wide to Lomu. He's got the bounce. He's handing it off his opposite. Lomu. Oh, oh. Morris. Intercept by Bashup. Lomu. Hands off Tony Underwood. Lomu. Heading for four. But that's the most brilliant quartet of tries you'd ever wish to see. For, you know, 120 kilogram a player to have that explosive power over 10 metres is, is devastating because he's the sort of player you really have to be able to make full body contact to be able to tackle him. I mean when he sidesteps it's about a three metre sidestep where most people it's a metre and a half. There was never really a game that New Zealand played in a significant situation where they smashed aside a significant opponent like they did England that day. And for Lomu to play such a significant part uh, would have to rate that as his uh, greatest performance. Out to Lomu. Lomu with space in front of him. First time he's had a run this year. He's just going to outpace them. I think Forrest getting close. That is quite, quite incredible. The goal line in the background, Tom Lutley digs in deep. Lomu, Lomu will score, yes, Jonah Lomu. Auckland's second try. Tom Lutley. And Lomu, Lomu almost in the clear, shrugs off a couple of tackles, carries a couple more. Oh, that's an impossibility. You cannot score from there, but he did. Jonah Lomu, amazing. End on. Well, excuse the use of the superlatives, but I can't think of any other words, but amazing, to be honest. When we toured to South Africa, and we needed to win over there. That's when we really found that that bond between us players um, was the strongest, because we needed to win there to come home and play a home semi in a home final. Floating ball over to Lomu! Not just this crowd, but the whole of New Zealand rugby's waited to see. Most wingers, if you show them the outside and get a hand to them, you can stop them. But uh, one hand's not, not enough to stop that guy. Uh, you can get two hands on and you probably need another two to help you even slow him down. So one-on-one, -on -one he's, he's virtually unstoppable. Stensness, lots of defences across. Lomu is there. Lomu goes for two. Fast guys will let him run past and then catch him from behind. But Jonah's the fastest over 10 metres in the All Blacks. And if you let him get that 10 metres, you're not going to catch him. And there's Charles Rickleman, the young man who's bidding for a place in the All Blacks. There's a Natal player down on the deck at halfway. Could be Mark Andrews. It is. Spencer through. Lomu! Here we see it, 
head on. Spencer hitting the blind side hard and fast. Small trying to close down Lomu, and that's where he got in trouble. Lomu one on one. There it is. Joubert couldn't hold him. Too big, too strong. Five points to the Blues. Oh, that's awful play by Natal to have a man cut through like that and then have no one with him. Let's see if they can get something out of it. I tell you what, it might work for the Blues at the other end, thanks to Lomu. Spencer 